Tarsus the First Martyr should be the second major boss you fight in Mortal Shell if you're doing things in the easiest, most logical order. And he is quite a bit more challenging than Imrock. The first thing you're going to do at the beginning of the fight is you're going to dodge out of the way three times or dodge twice and harden once in order to avoid his slide attack. He may do this several times throughout the fight, so if you see this sort of pattern happen, then get ready to repeat this process. The main strategy here is you want to bait him into doing sort of a two-hit combo where he does then a third hit that slashes down into the ground. This is going to give you an opening to run into attack, and you need to avoid his AoEs. Uh, periodically, he'll stab a sword into the ground and do AoEs, and when you get to phase two, this gets even worse. So just make sure you avoid the AoEs, and you're going to want to bait his combos, and then run in attack, hit a couple times, and then hard. Remember that he swings extremely slowly because the weapon is a two-handed weapon, so it should be easy to time your harden without getting hit, and then get away without taking damage. Periodically throughout the fight, he's going to throw his sword at you. You want to try and dodge out of the way if you can. And then what I like to do is immediately turn my back to the sword and harden and wait for him to grab the sword and then sort of attack through me. He'll end up exactly in front of you if your back is to the sword, and then you can begin immediately attacking him. Probably the biggest advice I can give for this fight is don't try and attack him unless you have harden available. And try and dodge first if you can, and then harden if you mistime your dodge or... Uh, if he does a combo and you dodge the first attack, harden for the second attack. But there are some places where he does like slide attacks that it's great to just harden, wait for him to connect with you, and then just start swinging because you're perfect range when this happens. Again, as with all other boss fights in the game, you should have a plus 5 weapon when you're fighting this boss. You can get to plus 5 easily before you ever fight any of the major bosses in the game. So be sure to check the wiki uh, or the getting started guide for locations of quenching acid before you fight any boss. Oh, 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 oh,